Welcome to the New 50 Noob. I'm Simple Simon, I'm your comic book noob, and I'm back again. I know, two days in a row, but hey, I'm repaying you back because I took the biggest break I've taken from making videos for quite some time. So, I'm giving you the content that you didn't ask for. So, um, I know I like to say that I'm into comics and all that sort of stuff, but basically I haven't really been reading for quite some time now. Um, it's been about probably a month and a half or so. I just haven't been able to concentrate, and when I can't concentrate, I can't read. And when I can't read, I don't read. Uh, and basically what happens is your comic book pile just starts to pile up because I do obviously have a weekly pull list. So today's video, we're going to go through the comic book pile. Um, I'm sure all collectors have a pile that they obviously they need to catch up on. Um, there's just not enough hours in the day to get through this stuff. But um, yeah, today I thought I'd make a video about sorting out my pile of comics, which I have to do every few weeks. But uh, we'll sort them out together and we'll talk about some of the series that I collect. I know it doesn't sound very interesting, but we're doing it anyway. Let's do this. Alright, look at these piles. They are absolutely disgusting. Um, I have to do this every few weeks just to sort of organise everything. So half of these piles are probably already organised. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just go through them and talk about some of the series that I collect. Firstly, uh, let's have a look at the stuff that I picked up today. Um, I haven't been for three weeks. This is what $155 worth of books looks like. Um, yeah, that's how much I spent today. I know, I know. Oh, quickly, um, I picked up one of these today from the comic shop. Um, check out my Facebook page. I'll leave a link maybe scrolling all across the bottom here. Um, I'm going to make an exclusive Facebook video of me opening this up. Um, I really want it to be Robin. I did some felt it up a little bit and uh, I got a feeling I got a Robin. Uh, but yeah, check out my Facebook page. I'll make a short little video on whether or not this is a Robin. Okay, so let's go through these piles. So how I like to normally do this is I normally like to make at least three piles. I've got the read as soon as possible pile, which is the stuff I want to read straight away. Uh, I'll have another pile which is like, yeah, I'm in no, I'm in no hurry. I'll read that one day in my life uh, pile, which is the titles that I really should start cutting off. Um, so I don't spend $155 when I go visit the comic shop. Um, and then I normally have a pile of stuff that I should read or want to read soon. So they're normally my three piles. We'll see how I go. Um, yeah, let's do this. Batman Curse of the White Knight. The sequel to White Knight just came out a couple weeks back. Um, really excited to read this. That's definitely going in the ASAP pile. Nightwing, Batman, definitely ASAP. Justice League Dark is a series I talk about a lot of how much I like it, but um, it's definitely going in the I should read pile. We've got Conan the Barbarian. I have not started reading this, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. Conan the Barbarian. In fact, here is the rest of the ones I have. What? Where's issue seven? But you know, there's stuff that I collect just for the sake of collecting. It's not a good idea to collect these books if you're never going to read them. And I started to get to a point where I realized I'm never going to get around to reading some of these. So every now and then you just have to do a cut off how good is this Black Cat art? Uh, it's issue three. This is a uh, came out this week, maybe or last week, or in the last three weeks. It's a really, really nice cover there of uh, Black Cat's the variant. The Amazing Spider-Man by Nick Spencer. I keep calling it my Spider-Man run because it started when I was just getting into comics. Um, I haven't actually, I've only read the first nine issues, so I'm literally what 18 issues behind now. So uh, Amazing Spider-Man basically has a pile of its own. Um, I'm going to actually cut this from my list uh, just because, again, I've got so much Hit Girl titles that I haven't read. I just I can't afford to keep getting them and not reading it. I read the first, I think, three issues of Batman Who Laughs uh, by Scott Snyder. It was quite good, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to wait till the rest of them come out so I can knock the rest out. So issue four to seven, um, definitely in the AS ASAP pile. How good is this Deceased cover? Issue four of Deceased, uh, tribute to Scream. Spider-Man City of War. I think it's a six issue miniseries, which basically um, is about the, sp the game version of Spider-Man. So it's part of the Gamerverse. Um, I kind of wish I didn't collect this, but I did. And since I started, it's only a few issues, so I figured I'd, I'd get them all. Um, it came out at the, at the same time as this other Spider-Man miniseries called Spider-Man Life Story. Now this, I chose not to buy when it first came out, but eventually picked, up, picked it up because uh, the idea of this is amazing. It's basically uh, six issues, Spider-Man Life Story is about the um, basically the life of Peter Parker being Spider-Man, but told in real time. 
So issue one starts off in the 60s and then issue two is the 70s, issue three is the 80s and so on and so on. And basically, I guess by the end of it, he's basically an old man trying to be Spider-Man. So I can't wait for this to finish up with me. I'm just gonna knock that out of the park in one, uh, one sitting, hopefully. There's just too much Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man was my favorite as a kid. So, when I got back into comics, I thought Spider-Man, I should follow Spider-Man, but there's just too much Spider-Man going on at Marvel. I mean, when you got two books with the same name, pretty much, like, it's just confusing. I need a bigger table. This still sitting here. The Amazing Spider-Man. This is actually the first appearance of Spider-Punk. I have no idea why it is out in these piles. You can go over here. You can put somewhere else later. Look at all this stuff. Two copies of X-Force, oh yeah? Recommendation from Stu. Thanks Stu, I bought two of them. And now he's like, I didn't read that crap anymore. <laughs> Big Hit Girl fan apparently, just not reading it. You know what I should do, right? I mean, if I had enough subscribers, I'd start running competition and just giving away shit that I don't want. I've got a lot of uh, double ups on comics. Um, I've even got some pop vinyl double ups that I don't need anymore. Um, subscribe to my channel, guys. <laughs> This is, this, this is too much. Um, I made a mistake wanting to make this video. What I do look forward to when I finally start reading again is knocking out multiple issues in a row. That's always good um, because when you go issue by issue, especially when you've got a brain like mine, um, you just forget what happened in the previous issue. Oh, look at this. There's a pile of stuff that, wait, did I read, did I read Black Cat? Did I read Black Cat? I must have read Black Cat. I know we don't bag them unless I've read them. I do not remember Black Cat, but I feel like maybe I did. So I've actually read these, which is good. Good, good. I actually did do some reading about 10 years ago. Um, I quite enjoyed Westeros Avengers. It was actually a really dumb series. I, I started collecting it because I had Gwenpool in the team. Uh, and it was really stupid, but it had its moments, which were kind of funny. You know what I should do? I should put these in alphabetical order. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Holy crap, how far behind am I on Batman and Nightmare? Oh my god, these are ancient! Batman 73! I haven't read Batman 73! God Esmo, don't know why I collected that. Sounded cool, read the first issue and I was like, what the fuck just happened in this story? Uh, it's very confusing, it's about hackers and stuff I think, I just didn't get it. Right, now that I've organized my three piles, I then need to organize those piles again. By the way, piling up your comics like this is really bad for them, I'm pretty sure, because I've noticed when your pile starts to build up, the, the, the spines start to curve a little bit. I don't quite get it, because it's like, aren't you guys flat? Why would you curve? Nightwing, when is Rick gonna go back to being dick? All right, this is my to read straight away pile. It's gonna take me a while. Um, there's a lot of double ups in there and even triple ups, so uh, yeah, this pile is actually a lot smaller than uh, it looks. And this is what I'm talking about. This is all the stuff that I'm in no hurry to read. And there's a good chance that by the time I die, I still wouldn't have read them because I've got another box, a full box of stuff that I haven't read and still need to read as well. So yeah, it, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite challenging being into comics, to be honest. I went through phases where I'd read, try to read at least three books a night. Um, and then I'd have some days where literally I would dedicate my whole day to it. Um, but yeah, it, it's been a while. I normally only read maybe two titles, two, three issues when I do read now. Um, but yeah, I really need to give myself a kick up the butt and um, really get down to uh, reading all this stuff. Batman Annual, signed by Tom Taylor. My buddy. You know what? Fuck this. I'm done. Well, um, I guess thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, I don't know if today's video is going to make it the cut, but uh, we'll see if I can turn it into something. I just want to do something today, to be honest, with the day off, so why not make another video, right? But hey, talking about pointless videos, um, jump onto my Facebook page. Uh, right now, I'm probably going to make a very short video just about me opening this. Will I get a Robin? You're only going to find out if you check out my Facebook page. So, yeah, I'll go do that now. and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. Sorry, it was probably a bit of a boring video. Um, but yeah, look, I've, I've got some really interesting content coming up. I basically bought a green screen and I'm going to be having a lot of fun with that. So stay tuned, especially if you're a uh, Redwood fan. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, keep it simple.